What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be talking about the temporary nano tank that I have set up downstairs. We're going to look at how I'm running everything and how everything's doing. Alright, so originally when I set this up, it's supposed to be just a temporary tank. I'm pretty sure it's going to still be a temporary tank, but it's kind of bothering me because everything is doing so well, I don't want to touch it. But at the same time, um, there's a lot of things that I'd like to change on it to make it easier to run. But we'll talk about that right now. So this is a 20-gallon Aquion, you know, the 20 long that you can get at Petco, dollar per gallon sale. Always have a 20 long on hand. Uh, in case you're wondering, when there's no sand, no rock, nothing at all in it, it only takes 18 gallons, so keep that in mind. It's not really truly a 20-gallon tank, but no tanks are. So, everything's doing good. It's very simple. I guess you could really call this a nano tank budget build, because this is as low budget as I can think of. Um... We'll talk about what's in here and how they're doing, and then we'll talk about the equipment. So, these are the bubble tip anemones, the rainbows, and the two clownfish are still doing just fine. There's actually a total of four anemones here. There's these three big ones, and then around the backside, there's a little tiny baby, but they're all doing good. I'm feeding the fish daily, and I'm giving the anemones mysis, like a big cube of mysis, once a week. I'm not really sure how to care for these. Uh, I know they're pretty simple. Just give them some light and maybe a little bit of food. You can give them a lot of food. I don't, I'm giving them food once a week. I don't want to overfeed them. And they seem to be doing just fine. The uh, hammer colony is doing really good. It's just starting to wake up. Everything actually, lights came on about, I'd say about a half hour ago. Uh, it's, it's doing good. It's really, really doing good. I glued it to this rock so it's kind of like on its own little island and I like it because these two rocks here I actually got from Dave's tanks and now this rock is just covered in brittle stars which is really cool so um, if I do get rid of this hammer colony um, I'm definitely going to be taking this rock and putting it in the sump uh, underneath the 75. The GSP in the back is doing really good, including this one mushroom. It's this this mushroom. I like it. It's it's like this crazy orange. It's hard to see, but it's really fluorescent orange um, to your normal eyes, I guess you could say. But it's doing really good. The GSP frags up here are growing really fast. I'm happy. There's no algae growing on the plugs. Nice and clean. The tank is just running really really well a lot of it I believe has to do with the bare bottom um, I'm not a fan of bare bottoms but I'll tell you what the tank does stay cleaner and it is definitely a lot easier to clean when it comes time to it uh, the chalice that I have down here I actually got this chalice it was like a little um, broken piece and I was like ah, let me glue it and now it's actually a good sized chalice it's like a greenish blue color and this guy was in recovery still. This is actually the very first frag that I ever got getting into this hobby. This is an orange, um, uh, I forget, Leptastria, Leptoceris. Somebody let me know in the comments below. I always, always forget what this one is. Um, Leptastria, I believe, nice and fuzzy and orange. The A-cans in the back are completely fluffy and happy. Everything's doing good. The candy cane's still waking up. Uh, I did post a picture on this candy cane colony on Instagram. And, you know, when this is awake, it's so fluffy and happy, you can't even really see many of these gaps. But, yeah, fish and coral and the anemones are doing you know, as good as I could do, want them to be. Doing really, really good. Everything's open every day. Everything's happy every day. It's really good. Now let's talk about the equipment. Simple. Oh, let me see if I can add some light. So I'm just using this Chinese black box. You know, some people don't like them. 
others that have used them know they work. Simple. I have the blues at about 90% and the whites at about 15-20% and this light fixture turns on at 1 p.m. and turns off at 10 p.m. That's it. Everything comes on at the same time and turns off at the same time. Simple. Then we're looking at the filtration. This is an old, really old, um, Fluval 70 hang on the back filter. Anybody that knows uh, hang on the back filters, Fluvals are awesome. You can do all kinds of stuff with them. This is an in tank, uh, you know, it's made by in tank. This is the in tank surface skimmer. And what you do is the intake tube here, you just pop off everything else, and this little box goes in there and it acts like an overflow. It surface skims. And I definitely think that this, you know, when you're running a um, hang on the back filter in a little setup like this or any reef tank, my eyes, this is uh, one of the keys to success. This thing is so awesome. The top of the water is crystal clear. There's no buildup of anything nasty on it. And it's because this is um, surface skimming. It's just really, really good totally worth the money. I don't remember what this cost, but this was something that um, Dave had gotten. I think he got it from another reefer. So it's been handed down and handed down and now I have it and um, it's just kicking butt. Now I do have a little power head right here. This is the High Door 425. Um, super old. I have, I used this hang on the back and that power head when I had my planet tanks about five or six years ago and you know as long as you maintain them properly and clean them and store them clean they will fire right back up again and it's exactly what these these did so take care of your equipment and they'll last you a long time but I have this high door directly underneath the water when it cascades in normally It'll cascade in and kind of go down a little bit and kind of go out a little bit. So I have it where the water is cascading down and then this power head is just pushing it right across all the way over and then all the way back. And the cool thing is, is when I do my little water changes, you can see this is where the detritus builds up. Right here, that's it. The rest of the tank is pretty darn clean. So I really like it. You know, there's nothing fancy about it. I have a little Aquion, I think it's a 150. I had this one opened already. It's kind of big for this tank, but it was open, didn't have to spend a penny. And you guys know I always use these little 99 cent um, thermometers. And there's a couple snails in here. I think there's like a couple turbos in here and a couple um, Astrea snails or Astrea snails, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, uh, I don't want to tear this tank down, but at the same time, I want to. I, I, I want to get something with an all-in-one. Uh, this is how I'm topping off my water every day. Um, I found that this container, when I fill it up to here, and I pour it directly into the overflow, once a day, keeps everything proper. It keeps my salinity um, 1025, 1026, right around there and everything's doing well and um, I let this sit out gets room temperature every day and when I pour it in there it goes right through the hang on the back and by the time it comes out it's pretty good temperature wise but this heater heats up this tank fast I think this heater is meant for like a 40 or 50 gallon tank something like that and this is probably a total of 16 gallons of water in here so it's awesome it's running really really well come in here I blast stuff off, you know, hit the hit the bottom of this once in a while. And then actually I'm hand feeding the clownfish with these huge tweezers. I give them a bunch of food and then when they're done eating, um, then I feed the anemone that you know that once a week, like I said. These clownfish are awesome. I'm really trying to keep these anemones and not get rid of them. Uh, I would like to keep them all together. This one right here is the main mama that they hang out with, but they go all over the place here. They have a pretty big size home. And I want to keep these clowns with at least one of these anemones, so um, they've been 
together, I guess, these two clowns and this anemone for well over a year. So I really hate to separate them, so I want to try and come up with something. I want to try and find a inexpensive tank, like I said, maybe a 20 gallon all-in-one and literally just throw this light right over top of it and um, an auto top off and let it rip. Maybe even stay bare bottom and just put a bunch of rocks in here and let the anemones go wild, you know, do anemone only 20 gallon cube. Good looking clowns too. I know one is I believe a Picasso and I forget what the other one is. Dave if you're watching let me know what these two clowns are but yeah I really love these guys and my son Billy really loves them and Waffles loves them too. Something about these clownfish and these anemones that everybody at the house likes here so uh, I'm like 99.99999% sure that these will be staying with me for a very very long time. So that's it that's the update on the um, nano tank budget build kind of deal but it's doing really well and I'm not in a rush to take this thing down it's very easy come down feed the fish pour the water in done kick back when I'm doing my little projects downstairs this is what I get to hang out and look at so yep super easy super simple and it's pretty successful right now oh look at the clownfish came out uh, that's about as far as they go from that anemone. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you guys on the next one. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.